Hello, welcome to lesson 15, Methods in C Sharp, brought to you by Ankro Technologies. My name is Arish. In this session, we are going to learn what is method and what is the structure of method and also the difference between static and the instance method. To understand that, we'll jump into the slide where method is explained. What are methods? Methods are very useful and they allow you to define your logic once and use it at many places. It means that you can define the method once in your program and you can call that method or use that method at many places and this makes your maintenance of your application also easier. That is the major advantage of a method and methods are also called functions and these terms are used interchangeably. It, can, it means that methods can also be called as functions. Now the structure of method. This, the, this is the typical structure of method what you are seeing in your it contains access modifiers, access modifiers, then return type, then method name and parameters, it's optional and the method body. Whatever you write this within this braces is the method body. Uh, access modifiers and attributes will be discussed in the coming sessions. And for example, access modifiers are uh, public in the, in the coming in previous sessions. We have used access modifier public. Similarly, there are other three like uh, four public one public is one private protected internal protected those are the access modifiers and we have return type return type can be any valid data type and if you don't want to return anything then you can use the void data type void and method name method name can be any meaningful name you can give your method name a complete meaningful name and the parameters is optional if you want you can pass the parameters or else not required uh, in the situations wherever it is required we use the parameters we will pass the parameters to a method keep in mind methods are also called as functions to understand it very clearly we will jump into a demo and here is the console project and the project name is methods demo I am having a program console application here what we will do is all these previous sessions we wrote, we wrote all our code within the main method. It means that in the previous sessions we printed hello world or welcome to Ankro technologies on the command prompt window and that we wrote here in the main method. But as of now it is also possible we will write our own method and call it in the main method. It means that instead of writing our code in the main method we will write explicitly we will write our own method then we will call that method in the main method it means that we are creating our own method and since main method is the invoking part of the console application we will call that method in the main method now uh, I'm going to write a method which will print even numbers um, to start with how method what is the structure of method we'll jump back into presentation here is the structure of method first it contains access modifier first it contains the access modifier access modifier here I'm using public as I said the rest things are protected, protected, protected internal and private. We'll see access modifiers in the coming sessions. Public and I'll use void keyword. Here void is a return type. You can observe here return type. Return type can be valid data type or void. It means that if you don't want to return anything, then you can go with the void keyword. Or if you want to return the particular data type value, then you can use int, float, double, anything. As of now, I'm using void data type, void keyword, void return type. Now I am printing even numbers so the objective what I'm, the objective of the method what I am creating is to print even numbers so I will take my method name as even numbers only. Even numbers since it is a method we have to enclose the double brackets and here I want this method to print even numbers. How to do that? It's very simple. I'll create a variable called start and I'll assign the value 0 to it and I'll use while loop to do that work to print even numbers while start less than or equal to I want to print even numbers till 20. What I'll do I'll just print this start how do I do? How do I print? I'll use console class and the right line function present in it. And I'll call that start variable. Since I'm printing the even numbers from 0 to 
20 what I have to do is I have to increment it twice every time when, when it runs when it iterates in the loops I have to increment for each run by by the by two values that is how to do that we have to give start is equal to start plus two this is how we are printing the even numbers this part of the method will print even numbers will print the even numbers now I'm having I'm created a, I have created one method now since every console application runs from the main method I have to call my even number method in the main method now in order to do that since you can observe here the main difference between this method and this method is static method and this is it's not static now the, the other difference is it is having access modifier public here it's not having we will make that method also public now I've made the main method is also public but the difference is the static keyword is missing here since the static keyword missing here the major difference is this method is the static method and this method is the instance method keep in mind any method which is not having the static keyword that method we called as instance method and any method which is having the static keyword then then that, me that method we called as static method now I'm having my instance method I have to call this instant method in the static method in the main method how do I do that we can do it if I want to call even numbers in this method I have to create instance of the class program it means that I have to create an object of the class program then only I can call this even number the main method how do I do that I'll create an object of it program p is equal to new keyword is the one which will create the object for that program and will program means that p is the object of the class program now using this object we can access this even numbers even number method how do I do that we'll just use p dot you can see that method is present here now sorry now when I call this method here it works fine now let us check that whether a even numbers is printed or not it's running the build has started you can observe here at the bottom the build has started and once it succeeded it will print the output on the console the file is being analyzed by Davas so let's wait for that yes you can observe it printed the even numbers from 0 to 20 this is the major this is the output what we expected and here we also saw what is static method and what is the instance method now what happens if I make this method a static how do I call it in the main method we'll see that this is static now I want to call this static method in the main method it is showing a compile time error why because member program dot even numbers cannot be accessed with an instance reference qualify it with a type name instead means it is telling your method is static boss I can't accept I can't call in the main method in order to do that keep in mind we'll just erase these things out keep in mind if you want to call a static method in the main method and that can be accessed by using the class name directly it means that if you want to access static even number even number method in the main method then you, you have to call with the class name itself I'm using program dot see here you can access the even number method by by using the class name itself this is how when I run the program build has started and the output is expected is what accepted I, I expected yes it works fine this is how you call a instance method and a static method now we'll have another method which will add two numbers how to do that public I'll call static int add I'll take two variables okay, before that I would like to show another one thing I would like to show now 
every time when I run this program it will print even numbers till 20 but to make user more comfortable what I will do is if the user pass 30 year this piece of code has to print values till 30 that is even numbers till 30 but it is showing me an error because no overloaded method even numbers takes arguments means this method can't take parameters until and unless we specify the parameters in the main method here in the main method even numbers you have to pass the parameters how do I pass int target and we have to replace it's very simple we have to replace here also target now once I've done with this I'll just pass 30 I'll pass 30 here and when I run this program it has to print even numbers till 30 see the output is as expected the simple thing is you have to pass parameters in the in the method which you are calling and you have to create a variable for that and that variable you have to pass once user gives the value whatever you want the value will comment it in the target place and target is having a value 30 start less than or equal to 30 it prints that num till that extent of even numbers whatever the target it is now if I want to print it till 50 I can change it now I press ctrl F5 you can see the output is as expected it's printing till it is printing till 50 this is what we ex expected now what I'll do is I'll create another method public static int add int uh, num1 comma int num2 now once I'm having the parameter this is parameter sorry I have to pass curly braces then what I'm doing I'm return num2 here I've done a mistake I'll just correct it it is num1 not num i this is num1 now it's fine now since this is a static method what I have to do I have to call every time with the class name that is program dot sorry dot add you can find the add method yes and you have to pass two variables 20 comma 30 yes, as expected now I want to print this how do I print before that I'll store this entire thing in one variable okay since it is integer type I have to store int a is equal to sorry int sum equals program dot add and now I want to print that I want to print that value what I'll do is I'll call that variable now we can observe when I run this program it will do two works that is one it will print that even numbers and also the add method how do I do that now you can observe the sum it's not printing I don't know why we'll just check it check it once oh sorry can observe it has printed the even numbers till 50 and also the sum okay this is how we use how we invoke a static method now imagine if it is not static if it is an instance method how do I call it's very simple how do I call I'll just create a instance of this I will create I would like to create of object if it is instance method what I'll do I'll just create an object program p equals new new program and now p dot we are using the add method and I'll pass two variables 10 comma 20 now I'll assign this entire thing in one variable I'll take int sum equals 
like this. Now I want to print this some variable. I'll just type CW and tab it twice. And sum is equal to now when now when I run this program, this also provides me some output as expected at 30. This is how we call a static method and an instance method in the main method. It means that if it is static method, then go with the class name. If you want to invoke the static method even number in your main method, then using the class name we can call that method. If it is an instance variable, instance method, then you can call that method in the main method by creating an instance of that class. Here I'm creating object of program P. P is object and program is class of P and we are is calling that method and we are passing values it provided the output as expected this is the major difference between the instance method and the static method to understand it very clearly we'll jump back into presentation static versus instance variables when the method declaration includes a static modifier that method is said to be a static method it means that whenever you declare a method and that method includes a static modifier that method is said to be static it means that in the program you have defined a method here in, the, in that method, if you define any static keyword, that method is said to be a static method. That's all. And here, when no static modifier is present, the method is said to be an instance method. For example, in this method, you don't find any static keyword. So this method is called as instance method. That is the difference between static and instance method. Static method is invoked using the class name as we saw in the example. And instance method is invoked using an instance of a class. It means that we created a object of program class P, program P class of class program p we created an object p of class program okay difference between static and instance method is that multiple instances of a class can be created in each instance as its own separate method however when the method is static there are no instances of that method and you can invoke only that one definition of the static method as we did this it means that whenever you create a static method and that static method can be called only once by using the class name but if you're creating an instance method and that instance method can call multiple other methods also instance then that object we create right and that object can call multiple methods which are of type instance thank you have a great day please subscribe to Ankpro training below